All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Meaningful Monday. Uh, we are very happy to have you all here. Just want to let you know that there is a technical issue going on at the moment, so I'm not managing the screen. I cannot. It's just completely covered with uh, the Zoom menu. So I'll just go from my notes that I have here, and if there's anybody who wants to write anything or ask anything, uh, you can either write it in the chat box or you can um, raise your hand and at some stage Nancy will uh, let you know that you can ask your question or make a comment. Otherwise, if you can please keep your microphones on mute because this is recorded and put onto YouTube so people in other time zones can access it or people who can't join us tonight. So for all the new people, very, very warm welcome. And um, I'm very grateful to have you here. Thank you so much for joining. It's just uh, so lovely to have all of you with us. And then for all the people who regularly come, very warm welcome back. And thank you so much for continuing to support and come back every time. So tonight I'm going to be sharing a little bit, just the teeniest top of the waves of some of the information taken from a two-day program called Silver Manifesting. So for those of you who are familiar with the Silver Method, um, there's a separate program called Silver Manifesting, which I'm talking about tonight. And for those who don't know about the Silver Method, the Silver Method four-day core foundational program is called Silver Life and Intuition System. And that's the original Jose Silver program that's all over the world. Uh, however, a few years ago, um, I got certified uh, by Laura Silver directly in this particular two-day course called Silver Manifesting. And I have run it, I think, once before. I'm not sure if I've more than once. I think it's just once. In Sydney, when I first got certified, however, I've decided to bring it back with a bit of a force because um, not only will I be presenting it in June this year, it's a phenomenal two-day program, but I'll also be, I've been invited to Canada and the United States in September, October this year to present it internationally by the Silver Method trainers and um, one being Ken Kosher, who's the lead instructor of the world in silver. Um, he's invited me to present it to his audience. And then also the silver trainer, Stephen Dobos in Canada, has invited me to present it to their audience. Um, as far as I know, I'm the only trainer in the world of silver manifesting. So I'm very excited to share what I'm going to share with you tonight. And if you're curious about this two-day program, my suggestion is um, consider joining it. It is in June. All I can tell you is it's significantly different to the silver method. It's got different techniques. There's not one technique that's the same. It's a toolbox of 11 new techniques. And just a little bit about my own story. Um, I found the silver method at the worst time of my life in about 2010. And I never had any trainer in Australia that trained the silver method four day program. So in desperation to um, help me sort my life out, I bought the box of CDs called Silver Manifesting. And it was that program that significantly changed my life completely, like transformed my life, saved my life in five months. So two things I want to say. One is I mentioned five months, so you don't think there's a quick fix here. I'm not promising anyone a quick fix. If you hear of someone promising a quick fix, my suggestion is run the other way because there's no such thing. It takes a process for a person to change their mindset and it doesn't just happen like that. But with the silver method, what I can promise you is it happens really quickly. All you need to do is practice the technique and it's not even um, like a huge, massive uh, job to do. You can do just 10 minutes a day and you can absolutely change your life. I know, I did it myself. And the second thing I wanna say is, even if you do go ahead and buy online right now from anywhere in the world, the box of silver manifesting CDs, the course that I'm presenting live is is not that course it's way way better than that course that course that is available on cd has been upgraded revamped improved and changed by the designer laura silver herself and that's the program that i train um, in australia and around the world and Nance, please leave, uh, in, let the people into the waiting room if you can lovey all right so I'm going to be talking a little bit about some content from Silver Manifesting tonight. And if you wonder what it's about, it's all about manifesting. So all of the Silver Method is about manifesting. It's just that uh, this has to do with specific blocks that we have and poor childhood programming 
that we are not even aware of that we have to uncover and then of course what i'm talking about tonight are ideal conditions because we do need to create ourselves ideal conditions for manifesting to occur so i'm going to begin and just by the way at the bottom of the screen there it says previous recordings of meaningful monday are on my youtube channel called silver method australia so if you want any of the previous um, episodes or meaningful mondays there's a library there of over 250 videos all topics some are as long as an hour hour and a half others are short as three minutes five minutes so please if you need any self-help it's completely free um, wonderful resources there um, make use of them whatever resonates with you uh, find them and make use of them all right so i'm going to talk now quickly about the four steps to manifesting if you're a silver graduate from the original program you'll know about three steps to manifesting which is desire belief and expectancy so here we're going to talk about four steps desire belief connect and expect so when you think about what you desire just think about what's valuable to you in your life what is it that's important for you is it your health maybe oops sorry is it your health perhaps or is it increasing your income maybe it's both of that um, is it something to do with a relationship um, what would give you more peace what would give you more joy or a feeling of accomplishment in your life so the first thing we need to know is clearly what it is that we want and then we need to have a really really strong desire now it's not important it's not um, good enough to just say yep i want this and i want that you know you've got to have a burning desire so even in the book think and grow rich which is probably one of my favorite personal development books of all time by napoleon hill he dedicates an entire chapter to desire um, it's the first of the 13 principles in the book think and grow rich as well meaning that all accomplishment all accomplishment ever in the world must start with a burning desire so you need to know that in your life um, suffering is not necessary it does happen from time to time we all have adversity and we learn and grow from it but to live like that is absolutely unnecessary every single person deserves to have it all good health good relationships good money a good life purpose a fulfilling career or purpose um, a great spiritual life uh, a wonderful life of fun enjoyment recreation travel whatever it is that you enjoy and you do deserve to have it all any belief less than that is just one big limiting belief so when i first heard that i thought it's nice to hear that but is that really practical and is it really possible for people well i'm here to advocate and tell you not only is it necessary but it's definitely possible you do deserve to have it all and if you don't think so that's just a limiting belief and if you do think so but don't have it all well you can easily change that and that's what i'm going to be talking about so the other condition is that you need to have the belief which is number two you've got to believe it so if you're making any notes please write this down your beliefs determine your living experience not your actions Sorry, Nance, can you just unmute um, all microphones if you can, please, Lovey? Please, if you can keep your microphones on mute, do not unmute them um, unless you want to ask a question just to keep the recording nice and clean. Thank you. So your beliefs determine your living experience. What do you believe is the question. <clears throat> the answer is simple. Every condition you have in your life and every circumstance you have in your life right now is a reflection of your beliefs. If you wanted, let's say, a whole lot more money, but you don't have that in your life then there's a limiting belief there because if you did believe it you would have it already there is it's not possible to have a belief and not have it manifest in your life already so when it comes to manifesting first you have a strong desire then you need to create this new belief because the current belief doesn't have the future goal whatever outcome so in creating that belief you need to you need to not only know what you want and know it clearly you also have to um, understand that there is some rewriting of your neuro pathways or re uh, uh, 
mapping in, in your mind from one way of thinking and feeling with repetition to another way of thinking and feeling with repetition to start building a new neural pathway. And the best way to do that, which I'm sure you know, is through visualizing with emotion. And the more you repeat the visualizing, the more familiar that image becomes. With emotion, you make an impression in the subconscious every time you feel it. That's why every person, development person says, act as if you have it already, feel the feeling. Because every time you feel it and experience that joy and that bliss of having that, you impress the subconscious. So Silva has structured techniques that are simple to help in this process. And whatever it is that you want, you can easily get onto the road of starting to create that by using the techniques. And the techniques are there and designed to help you easily create a new belief. And then your beliefs determine your living experience, and then they will manifest in your life. If you want to know what limiting beliefs you have, because they're holding you back, then just ask this, answer this question. What do you really, really want, but you don't yet have? What do you really, really want, but don't yet have? Because whatever that answer is, right there, you have a limiting belief. The next thing is to connect. So when you connect, that's when you are busy practicing your visualization. That's when you are in the experience itself. So you must be in the experience. And you must be in the experience as if it's already happened. It's not like, oh, I want this goal. So you're visualizing every step to get there. And then the thing happening and now it's unfolding. No. You go from where you are, and when you visualize, you have already achieved it. You're now in that life of already having achieved it. So uh, I love money. It's a good example to work with. You don't visualize that you're creating the money. You visualize that you've got the money already. And now you're living your life with that money. So how would your life be different? Um, what would make it better for you? What do you... Um, what are you spending your time on? What are you spending your money on? How is your experience of life different now that you've got this already? So you connect. You're also in the experience looking through your own eyes, in your own body. You're not looking at it from a distance. So very important when you're visualizing that if you do see yourself in the scene, that you eventually walk up and step into yourself in the scene and become one with that image. So you're physically, you're physically experiencing it as if it's you in the scene. So to visualize... People say sometimes, oh, I can't visualize. Well, everyone can visualize. If I said to you, what did you eat for breakfast this morning or for lunch? As you answer that question, you see a picture. You cannot possibly tell me what you ate for lunch or breakfast if you didn't see a picture. If I asked you what you were wearing yesterday and you think about what you were wearing, there's another picture. So we can all visualize. And the way that we do that is to close your eyes, relax your body, internalize your focus so you don't use your eyes you go right within and you just kind of see it maybe from your forehead or another place up here or behind your head or wherever it is for you but you don't use your eyes because you can't see and visualize at the same time either your vision is defocused and your visualizing is on or the other way around the minute you have your eyes defocused or your eyes are closed and you're visualizing you go into what we call the alpha brainwave frequency and the alpha brainwave frequency is when your subconscious is most receptive to programming and changing. And that's what you want. Because when your subconscious is susceptible to programming, you can easily create a new belief. So it's really important, if you've never done the silver method, to make sure that you are well relaxed. Take three minutes, even five, to relax. Be conscious of relaxing your whole body and breathing slowly and regularly and deeply and then start to visualize. Then the last one is, is to expect. Expect is when we have absolute belief that this thing is gonna happen, and you just choose that. So you're practicing by visualizing with emotion that creates familiar and familiar and familiar scene, more and more you get more familiar, till eventually you start to kind of hear, yeah, this is, this is probably gonna happen for me now. So you kind of have a little bit more belief in yourself and in the process. And as you practice that, you will then get to a place where you're starting to create this new belief and expectancy is almost a natural side effect. I just want to add that when we do have expectancy, we must eliminate all negative 
doubtful thinking. Sometimes people just do that as a bad habit. You know, they're visualizing every day and they think, oh, but what if it doesn't happen for me? Or oh, I just, you know, had this thing and I saw that thing and now I think, oh, something's going to go wrong or we expect something to go wrong. You've got to be very mindful that you eliminate any form of doubt. So you, you live with full faith, a belief with absolutely full conviction. And when we have desire, belief, connect emotionally through visualizing to that goal, we have expectancy. The minute you have expectancy, the thing will manifest in your life. That's the core process. Now, what I love about Silver Manifesting as a two-day program is in the connect one, which is not in the Silver Method um, four-day program, we train you to visualize and do meditations with your eyes open. And we take it from a five minute one to a two minute one to a one minute one. And then eventually we go even shorter than that to 30 seconds. And we go even shorter to 10 seconds. And then even to three seconds. And this takes a while in the course. So when we train you that way, what happens is you have this goal and you can be uh, driving. You can stop at a red light. And in that red light moment, even if it's only three seconds, you can reconnect that goal through a process by practicing this open eye, what we call zap meditations. If you've got 10 seconds to 30 seconds, you can do an even longer one, even more powerfully. And we practice that, getting that feeling back in, connecting mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically, because we use our three finger technique with our eyes open and we visualize that goal. Now, that sounds like, what are you doing that for? Well, every single time you connect to your goal, especially with emotion, your subconscious is continuously feeling this feeling, seeing this image, because you can visualize with your eyes open, and it becomes more and more real. And it's really, really powerful in accelerating our manifestations. All right. So let's talk about the ideal conditions here for manifesting. The first one, you know this, if you haven't heard this before, I'm sure you know this, You've got to have clear outcomes. You've got to know what it is that you want. And um, in the silver method, it's not like Zen meditations that or Buddhist meditations where you go into a passive meditation and you know Zen out. We relax ourselves as if you're in a meditative state, but we actively and dynamically use the mind. And just to let you know, it's a light way of um, using the mind, very light, not deep. When you come to the Silver Method the four day program and we program all the techniques in, you go really deep. So if you're a grad and you're sitting here, you'll know you go into these deep meditations where we program it in. That's training. You don't need to do that when you've left the course. You just practice the techniques. Here in Silver Manifesting, we're not going deep like that. We are practicing deliberately often throughout the course. To stay in a light state of alpha that's very active where the mind is very active and light and dynamic and we keep practicing how we can connect emotionally physically mentally and spiritually to our goal and this makes it really easy to do so firstly you need to have clear outcomes and then we use um, a light brainwave frequency like alpha and we do it as short as even 10 seconds as i said now I recommend for everyone here who's listening, if you don't have clear outcomes, um, which means you don't know exactly what you want, I wouldn't do anything else but absolutely spend the time writing down what it is that you want in clear, measurable terms. And measurable meaning, how will you know if that thing's manifested? So if you said more money, you can't write more money because one cent is more money. You've got to say specifically how much more money. If it's a relationship that exists and you want it to be better, describe what would make it better. Don't just say, I want you to have a better relationship. What does that look like? What does it mean? If it's your health, don't say, I want to be healthier. What does that look like? How can you measure it? Is there any measurement that you can use? And then it's really important to um, practice whatever you're doing every morning and again, I would do a short meditation at night, even if it's just for one to two minutes, that you keep on practicing um, as a lifestyle. So silver manifesting definitely, and silver itself, but silver manifesting definitely wants you to live this as a lifestyle. That's why we've got these open eye meditations and zap meditations. So you can just 
become this person who is uh, aware of what your life wants, what you want your life to become, having these clear outcomes in your mind as pictures, which we all think in pictures, and being able to connect with them as if we're in the, in the experience on and off, on and off, on and off throughout the day. And this not only changes you, creates new beliefs, creates expectancy, but it also helps you manifest whatever it is that you want much faster than any other time. Okay, so meditate daily, I spoke about that. The next point is to be very vigilant on your deterrence for success. Now we all have um, things that get in our way, whether that's that we procrastinate, whether that's um, we've got some form of negative thinking, um, maybe you've got some really bad habits, maybe you've got self-sabotaging behaviors. In my view, we all have self-sabotaging behaviors to one degree or another. Even worrying. Worrying is a massive deterrent to a person's success. If a person is trying to manifest money and you worry about your finances, you're actually doing negative visualization. Because I just mentioned that in visualization, we use emotion. So worrying is full of emotion and it's also full of imagery and, and pictures of what we don't want. So to manifest, you need to train yourself to become highly vigilant of what is happening in your mind, not just when you're visualizing for your goals, but be You're muted now, Janine. You're still muted. Alt A. You're back to muted. Okay, can you hear me now? Perfect. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Um, so part of the training is helping all the participants become vigil vigilant to deterrence. And the more mindful we can become, the better manifestors we become. Because most of the time, the deterrence to, to manifesting are happening in the background. We're not consciously aware of it. And they are old bad habits, things like worrying, things like delaying to, taking action, things like avoidance, things like procrastination, things like, um, you know, when you sabotage yourself, things like that. All right. The next thing is connecting with your life's mission and connecting with universal source energy. So for me, universal source energy and God is the same thing. If that's not your thing, that's absolutely fine. It doesn't have to be. But we all know that there is a infinite source of energy in this entire universe that is the source of all creation. Everything is energy. So at the lowest level, if I hold this glass, it's made up of molecules. They're made of atoms. Atoms are made of subatomic particles which are really particles of energy in a state of vibration. Everything is energy and everything that exists is energy in a state of vibration. So all that energy together is what we call the quantum field or universal source energy or the divine matrix, whatever name you want to give it. And it's from this energy field that all things come, all things manifest. So, what we do in the program is we connect to universal source energy and we ask universal source energy to guide us into what our mission is for our life. Similar to the life's purpose exercise that we do in the silver method course. If you are a silver grad, if you knew, we actually do this meditation with you with a pen and a paper in your hand and through asking questions, in a deep state, deeper than alpha, we're now going to the theta level of brainwave frequency, which is a passive inductive state where information drops in from your 
uh, higher self, from your intuition, from higher consciousness, whatever you call it, from universal source energy, and you get some really profound answers. So in this one, we need to know what is universal source energy's vision for our life, and also questions that help to reveal what our limiting beliefs are, what is standing in our way, what are things that we really need to change in our viewpoints, in our perspectives, um, in our perceptions that we're not aware of. And some of them are quite big and we need to work on some real reprogramming that you know might be deep ingrained. Others are very simple things, but they need to be revealed. Um, the other thing is that we need to know that universal source energy that creates everything is always, always responding to every thought you think, every feeling you feel, every intention you have, every fear that you have, all the beliefs that you have, it very much responds to that. And that's how we create our own reality. So no one in this world is a victim of circumstance. Everyone is creating their reality. The only difference is some are aware of it and some are not. So that's why some people, now they say there are three kinds of people in the world. They are the lucky, where everything goes right for them. Then there's the unlucky, everything never goes right for them and they blame everybody usually those kind of people i'm sure you know them and then the other people who create their own luck now do they really uh the other two who are or unlucky lucky are they really lucky or unlucky or do they also create their own luck whether that's good or bad they're just not aware of it that's 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 what it is everyone's creating their own reality you're either aware of it or you're not so just to have those tools, what we're doing is we're going to use our mind, which is part of this universal source energy, part of this quantum field. And we use our mind, which is a way to focus the faculty of intelligence the same way that um, uh, you can focus a camera lens. We're going to focus the mind using it to create what we want. Uh, through a certain process. The mind can attune itself to all information. That's why in the four day silver method course, we have two days of intuition. And we use our intuition to connect to information we do not have. And people blow their socks off as to how they get that information. So we do something called caseworking, where you detect abnormalities in a person who's not well using your intuition and then get immediate feedback. And it's amazing how this information just comes to us. So if this information comes to us, it means we can attune to all information. We can um, attune to different dimensions, to different states of consciousness. Uh, there's no boundaries whatsoever to what we can or can't attune to. So when we want to manifest, if we use that power in a structured way to get answers, to guide us to whatever we need, we can and we can do that all the time so i just want to i want to read something that comes from this amazing uh, mind of yours there was a guy who trained with jose silver back in the early days his name's harry mcknight he was one of the first four trainers in the world and he said this when you go back and forward in time in your mind as far back as you want or as far forward in the future as you want even if you wanted to imagine just with your imagination beyond this life, what would be beyond that? Or go back even before you were born, if you wanted to, with your imagination, you could, even before you were born. So if you can go forward in time, as far as you want in your mind, then you are eternal. And when you go back and forward in time and you can just sense information, like you do in caseworking that I mentioned, then getting all information means you're all knowing, which is omniscient. And if you can apply that knowing to solving your problems, which you do in the Silver Method 4-Day program, we learn how to solve problems, then we have this quality of being all-powerful in solving our, our qualities, which makes us omnipotent. So when we use our mind to create something, which is what we all do, we manifest all the time, we're creating something out of nothing. Thoughts become things. Then we are omnificent or creative. So we are eternal. We are infinite. We are omnipotent omniscient, omnificent, who are you? Who are you? So you and source energy are one. 
You can call it a higher power, you can call it God, whatever you want to call it, you are related. And there's great power for you in that because as long as you accept that and acknowledge that and work with that, we are one with that power and we can draw on that power at any time to help us create. And then the next one is engage fully. Let me just put it on the screen. Engaging fully means that when we want to visualize our goals, we don't just do it with our mind mentally. We don't just do it with our mind and our emotions, mentally and emotionally, but you do it on all four levels, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And there's a certain meditation that we uh, do in Silver Manifesting called Engaging Fully, where you practice to do this with all of you engaging fully, because then you become in full alignment you are in alignment in the inside world with what you want to create in the outside world. And you are also aligned physically, which is the outside world. So you're operating in the objective outside dimension and the subjective inside dimension. You are aligned with your spiritual self. You're aligned with the desires of your heart, which is your emotional self. Your mind is also directed towards a specific goal in mind, which is your mental ability. And we use our body in the exercise as well. So you also physically aligned and my friends, when you can learn to do that, it's very, very powerful and you become quite, um, quite incredible with your manifesting potential in creating what it is that you want. The next thing is be mindful internally and externally and be aware of feedback. So, um, we need to just being mindful. Let's talk about internally. We all know a feeling inside when something doesn't resonate with us. You can call it your intuition, your gut feeling, you get a hunch. So that's being mindful internally. We're also mindful of our internal state that we're in. So let me just tell you, if you're trying to manifest good in your life, but you're angry all the time, <laughs> you're not going to manifest because anger brings you more things to be angry about. If you complain, you're going to get more things to complain about. So we have to be mindful of our inner state. All I can say is um, we need to be calm. We need to be joyous. We need to be happy. We need to be having peace within. And when anything disturbs that, we need to be mindful enough to immediately correct that. The other thing is to be mindful externally. So this means that you're aware all the time of what's happening with you. Um, Nancy, who I introduced earlier when we had worked together, <laughs> anything that happens, good or bad, if Nancy's saying something, the first thing I say to her is, oh, how did you manifest that? Not to be uh, cheeky, but just to make Nancy aware. Like, how did you manifest that? So let's say it's, I don't know, some small condition, a headache, let's say, or uh, something itchy or a bite or whatever. Everything we manifest, yes, including a mosquito bite. You might think I'm crazy. It's true. If you don't believe me, <laughs> read heal your life you can read florence scoven shin's book you can read um catherine ponder whoever it is um we manifest everything so if it's something good i also say how did you manifest that so let's say i don't know whatever it is that happened that was good so this is feedback now we need to be aware of all the feedback all the time not just here and there whatever happens you want to ask yourself how did i manifest that because the more you practice being mindful on about the external world and looking at it as feedback, you come to know when good things are happening, you're in the receiving mode, you're in the manifesting mode. So your conditions are working. You are in harmony with your mind, body, spirit, physical body, and the quantum field around you is responding. That universal source energy is molding itself to your thoughts and feelings. That's how we create and we become aware of the law of attraction. So the law of attraction says you get what you think about whether you want it or not. So when good happens, you can think, well, how did I create that? And you become aware, ah, oh, I was feeling good or I was thinking that. Now you don't have to be feeling good and thinking good about the goal that manifests itself. Like, oh, I want to create more money. So I'm feeling good about money. No, you can be feeling good about stroking your cat. Yeah. And having a purr and you're kissing your cat and you're happy there with your cat. 
Stroking your cat, if it makes you happy, helps you manifest money. You can say they're not related. They don't have to be related. All you need to do is feel good. So if you're feeling good, you're going to manifest. So anything that happens, say, how did I create that? You can think of your internal state or your thoughts that you most recently had. Sometimes um, I just start practicing gratitude and I'm really practicing gratitude and I'm holding on to that feeling of gratitude. And sometimes I even time it. For those of you who've done my courses and you heard me say that, you'll know I've got a, the one minute and eight second thing that I hold that feeling with nothing else. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, sometimes I'm really practicing gratitude. And while I'm practicing gratitude, my phone will ping me. And I don't know, it'll be an uh, alert from the bank. Money's come in or something. So that's how quickly it can respond. And the more you practice being aware of your external environment being your feedback mechanism, so when good things are happening, continue with what you're doing. And if you've got bad things happening, you've got to become more mindful and aware of what you are practicing internally that you're causing things that you don't want to happen for you. And this is the art of manifesting. It's all these conditions. Plus, once we have all these conditions and we become more and more self-aware, you can then learn your personal code to success. That's PCS. You have a personal code to success. So you think of a time in your life when you really wanted something, something really important to you, and you manifested that thing. How did you do it? I remember years ago, this is a strange example, but it'll, it'll help you. This is way before the silver method. I never even heard of the silver method. Okay. I was back in South Africa. This is about 20 years ago. I went to a sales convention. I was part of a sales team um, working for a company called Clover. Those of you in South Africa will know who that is. Um, big dairy, um, monk and so on company. And I went to the sales conference and as they walked in the door, they asked us to put our business cards into a bowl. And they said, we're going to pick one of these business cards and someone's going to win a certain course. Um, and, and this course is, was worth thousands, okay? Like thousands and thousands of dollars to attend. And I'd always wanted to do this course. And years before, my company selected like a small handful of people to do it. And I wasn't one of them. I thought, geez, if only I could do that course. If only I could do that course. I really wanted it. Well, as they said, put your business card in here. You could win it. I took out my business card. And to myself, I said, I'm going to win this. I'm absolutely going to win this today. And I put my card in there. And I had almost like absolute conviction in my head and a feeling inside I'm going to win this prize. Now, there were about 400 people at this conference. End of the day, they're going up with a bowl. They start to dig through the bowl, call someone up to pick one of the business cards. And the feeling inside me was I knew this was mine. And then the guy takes out the card, gives the guy, and as he's about to read it, he says, and the winner is, and as he says that, that voice, I hear my own name, Janine, and they can't ever pronounce my surname, so they say Skiako or something funny. But I heard and then he said it, and it was me, it was my name. So how did that happen? But I had this knowing. So if I can actually work out and memorize that process or work out somehow what were the finer details that made that happen, I can re replicate it. Same for you. You can think of anything in your life you really wanted. It was like a big thing. And you just had this conviction you were going to have it and a burning desire and you did get it well in silver manifesting we have a meditation we go deep and in that we go through a process where you review how you manifested some things and now you're at the alpha level or even the theta level so it's not going to be the same now as the beta level it's never going to be the same now you're using your logical mind we don't use a logical mind when we're in the alpha level we're not using that at all we're using intuition you actually kind of draw insights, clues, intuitive guidance of what your personal code to success is. And then with that awareness and those insights, we then kind of memorize that. We kind of lock that up and put it somewhere inside of us that we know, okay, this is my personal code to success. And when you come out of that meditation, you have a process you can trust. 
You have a process that you can replicate again and again and again. And this is how we manifest. This is how we literally create the life of our own design. How do I know I did this? So for those of you, I haven't told my personal story yet in length. It's a bit too long. I don't want to waste anyone's time. But I did this. My first um, program I used was Silver Manifesting and um, working out my personal code of success. Once I got that, I just became a really way better manifester. And from going from a place of afraid of being fired, I became top salesperson in the company in just five months. And then I stayed top salesperson every year until I left for four years in a row, achieving about 200% of my sales target every year. And the rest of the sales team every year never even achieved target. Now, that's not a coincidence. We had the same clients. We had the same products and the same markets. It's absolutely a process of knowing how to use your mind, working out your personal code of success and using it again and again and again with consistency, with reliability, with dependability. And every single person on the planet can do this if you just learn how to do it. So... I recommend you think into your own personal code of success. If there's anything you can work out, what were you feeling and what were you thinking when you manifested these things that you wanted? And we've all manifested great things. You just got to give yourself enough time to think about it. There's actually eight, I mean, seven ideal conditions in the manual of Silver Manifesting. I've added the eighth one tonight, just added it because I believe in this and um, I know this to be true. And other personal development gurus say the same thing. Another condition is you've got to have joy. You've got to have joy. In Louise Hay's book, You Can Heal Your Life, she says that you can do, if you're unhealthy and you're sick, you could have the perfect diet, all the affirmations you want, but your body won't heal if you're not in a state of joy. Um, it's very important for people even healing from cancer. They cannot be in a state of hatred and heal from cancer or resentment. So to manifest well, you've got to be feeling good. You know, if anyone knows Abraham Hicks, Abraham Hicks says um, you only need three things to get anything you want. And those three things are feel good, feel good, and feel good. So I wanted to mention that. That's almost like point number six, being mindful of what you're feeling internally. So thinking about yourself, Please grab a pen and paper. I do want you to grab a pen and paper. We're going to use it. I'm going to do an exercise with you where I, where I guide you through a guided meditation. I'm going to do that now. But just before we, we do that, I want to ask you a few quick questions. What are the areas that you engage in the least out of those four? Make a note for yourself. Do you know clearly what it is that you want? Can you measure that outcome? If you haven't, make a note. This is your first step to manifesting. Wishy-washy goals have wishy-washy outcomes. The next thing is, do you meditate daily? If you don't, this is something you need to do. Not because you're going to be visualizing every single day daily, but that would be really helpful. Because you need to practice daily meditation to practice, especially in the morning, starting your day in a calm, relaxed state. So as you do that every day, day after day after day, you condition yourself to become a calm and relaxed person. Calm people manifest. Stressed out people don't manifest. You know what they manifest? Well, they do manifest. Let me not say it that way. Stressed out people manifest just as well as calm people, except they manifest in things they don't want that give them more stress. So meditating daily connects you with um, universal source energy, the quantum field. It reduces the resistance in your mind. It could only be 10 minutes a day. It will help you manifest enormously. And then how are you with being vigilant? Are you aware of when you're worrying? Are you aware of when you're procrastinating or when you're sabotaging yourself or when you're always saying no, but, no, but to everybody? Or um, do you engage in being mindful of your internal process, your internal state? Or do you use outside world feedback to let you know how you're actually doing? Okay, so just about thoughts. Thoughts precede manifestation. If you're making notes, you want to write that down. Thoughts precede manifestation. And the lowest hanging fruit to manifest what we want is to start working with our thoughts. So the first thing is to be mindful, to be conscious and aware of what's going on within you. So I've spoken about that already. The next thing is to do, be deliberate. Your thoughts must have a purpose. That's why having clear goals 
and practicing open eyes at meditations with training, it can help you staying deliberate because if you're doing this on and off through the day, it absolutely kind of draws like iron filings to a magnet. All your other thoughts of the day in line, in target and in harmony with what you want to manifest with a purpose. You start thinking more purposefully. Your mind's not all over the place. That mind that's crazy. The next thing is it must be targeted. So targeted thoughts lead to on-target manifestations. That's what we want. Um, we must be congruent. So your thoughts must be aligned with your goal. You can't have incongruent thoughts. So a person wants to manifest money, can't go around a shop and look at something and say in your head, that's expensive. You're going to say, but Jean, what if it is expensive? I'm going to say to you, nothing's expensive. You say, but you haven't seen the price tag, Jean. It was $400 for that shirt. I'm still going to say, expensive is a relative term. It just is the price. It just is. It's not expensive. It's not cheap. It just is what it is. Your mind made it expensive, not the price. Because if you're a multi, multi, multi millionaire, $400 for a shirt's nothing. You could pay $2,000 for a shirt. But if you have a mentality of lack and you only expect to pay $20 for a shirt, a $400 seems like frightfully expensive. So it's those kind of thoughts that must be aligned with your goal. They must be congruent. Everything must be congruent. So if we want to create abundance in our life, we cannot think thoughts of lack. We cannot think thoughts of limitation. Oh, I don't think I can do that because I don't have an education. Or I don't think I can do that because I don't have enough money. Or I don't think I can do that because I'm too old. Those thoughts are not congruent and aligned with your goals. So, again, through awareness, through practice, through training, we have to become mindful that our thoughts are congruent with our goal. And lastly, consistent. They must be consistent and steady through time. You can't think, oh, yes, I will. Oh, no, I won't. Oh, yes, I will. I won't. Or be happy and angry, happy and angry. Or We've got to be consistent. And the more consistent we are through practice, the more we start living in the flow and the more we manifest better and better. So remember, what you think about, you bring about. So your thoughts are absolutely everything. They, they create your life. So we've got to be very deliberate in what we are thinking. Okay, the next is refining your beliefs. So your beliefs are very, very important. As I said, your beliefs determine your living experience. Your beliefs open doors of opportunity for you if they are the right beliefs. So if we can create positive beliefs, they can open doors of opportunity. You believe it's going to happen for you. You believe you deserve better. You believe that everything's working out for you. These beliefs you have to create. For many people, they're not automatic. They're like, no, things don't always work out for me kind of thing. Well, you have to change that. And when you do change that, you open the doors of opportunity. Your beliefs also must make you feel good. So think about your beliefs. Do they make you feel good? If you're believing, ah, oh, the economy is poor, does that make you feel good? No, that's not a good belief. If you think, oh, I don't have the education for that. I'm not skilled enough. Does that belief make you feel good? No. Well, that must go. Um... Whatever it is, you must know that you're in charge of your beliefs. You're in charge of your beliefs and you're in charge of your experience. Also, your beliefs lead to resourcefulness. They must lead to resourcefulness. Your beliefs must actually encourage you. They must even inspire you and motivate you. They must make you um, feel positively propelled to move forward. Um, so think about right now, what do you really want and don't yet have? Do that right now. What do you really, really want and don't yet have? What comes to mind as why you don't have it? Whatever you're thinking, I don't have it because I haven't got the time, I haven't got the money, whatever excuse you make, this, these thoughts, these excuses, these answers we give ourselves when we say why you don't have something you want are limiting beliefs. So the more of these beliefs we can uncover, the more we can change them and become more positive, supportive beliefs. <clears throat> the next question, <coughs> excuse me, about what you believe is, is it true most of the time? 
or is it only true some of the time? So if you say I'm not really smart, is that really true all of the time? Never. You're smart in that, in that, and that, and that. So maybe in this small area, yes, you could be a bit smarter and learn something. So always ask if your beliefs are really true. And if they're positive, great. Also, are your beliefs when you think things can't work for you, are they true for everyone? When people say, well, um, I can't do this thing because I don't have an education, <clears throat> then you've got to say, is this true for most people? That they can't be successful because they don't have an education. You're going to say no. I know people who have no education who are extremely successful. Even famous geniuses. Albert Einstein didn't have one. Edison didn't have one. Um, most people flunked out. Even people that you know today um, never had an education. Richard Branson, for example, is dyslexic. So it's not true. So when we question our beliefs, is it true for everyone? If it's not true for everyone, like the, the economy is the reason my business can't thrive, is that true for everyone in the same economy? And the answer is never going to be yes, because we know in every kind of economy, people are thriving. So that's why we need to be um, hard on our beliefs and question them and see that they are absolutely right for us. Okay, here's a great affirmation. You can take a photo with your phone if you like, or write this down. I know that with clearly defined goals, I will succeed. I will focus on greatness and I will arrive. I will live the life of my own design by evaluating, adjusting and improving. So why I love this is you can repeat the statement over and over again. You can repeat it during your meditation, after your meditation. It's a great affirmation to write out and stick somewhere. It's worth remembering. So... Remember, the, the beginning of all achievement is to know what you want and write it down. So if you even wrote down your goals and then wrote this down next to your goals, you've already taken the first step to actually creating it. The other thing about our focus on greatness is really important. You don't want to focus on mediocrity. You don't want to focus on average. You don't want to focus on good. You want to focus on great. Okay, I can't see the screen because I've got this technical issue. Um, just give me a moment. Okay, it says the reason most people never reach their goals is that they don't define them or ever seriously consider them as believable or achievable. Winners, on the other hand, can tell you where they're going, what they plan to do along the way, and who will be sharing the adventure with them. I love this quote. And the thing that I love most is the end when it says, who will be sharing the adventure with them? My friends, success never happens alone. It always happens in relation to others, whether you're doing it with others or others are helping you achieve that thing along the way. So have a winner's mindset and a, a positive uh, personality that loves people. Um, and just remember that you go much further as a team than you ever will do it on your own. Now, just to tell you about goal writing, from the very beginning of the presentation, when it's about getting clear on your outcomes, write down your goals for sure. If you do this course, Silver Manifesting, we take three pages of questions in the class where the students have time to answer all these questions, even though they know what their goals are, to get absolutely clear because the clearer you are about your goals the more your subconscious mind believes that you're going to achieve this because you're so clear as to what it is that you want um how this thing is going to make that how doesn't mean how you're going to get it please do not think about how you're going to get it that is never ever ever what we advocate i'll say that again the how on the screen is not how to get the goal suspend the need to know how you do not need to think that know that we don't even want you to do that it's going to get in the way that how over there means how will it make your life different and better if you achieve this goal that's what the how means how will it make your life different and better when is it going to happen for you you got to have a date put it down be specific where will you be when it manifests 
Will it be at the doctor's rooms if it's good news? Will it be, I don't know, at an event? Will it be in your office? Will it be with someone, without someone? Who will be there to validate and um, give you feedback that you've got this? Who will be celebrating with you? Who's that person there? You've got to know that even with your goal because then it becomes real for you. And most importantly, why? Why do you want this? The more answers you can give for why, the more purpose you have in achieving that goal and the more motivation you'll have behind it and the more fuel and desire you'll have. So in this, in this course of Silver Manifesting, we spend a lot of time right up front in the course going through questions in the manual to help a person and write down their goals, get absolutely clear, and then create something called a power declaration. We take the, all the goals and we work it out and we give examples and you get your own, your own power declaration. And from that power declaration, we then take one word that means that. So we go from the big writing to the one declaration to the one word. And when I'm doing those open eye meditations that we're talking about, those Zach meditations, you might use the one word, just that one word. And you know exactly all that it means and all that it feels to you because you've been practicing from the big goal down to the short goal, down to the open eye, smaller, 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 even to a three second or 10 second um, word that is your declaration. So two quick things to remember. During the time that you are meditating or visualizing for yourself or any goals that you want to have, you've got to act as if you've already achieved the goal, not whilst you're meditating or visualizing throughout the day. You've got to walk as if you've got this already. You've got to feel as if you're that person who has it already. Not that you want to have it because the feeling of I want to have it, I want to have it, creates the absence and because you're aware I don't have it. So you've got to act as if you have it already. Um, one of the best things if it's to do with work and taking action or going towards a goal, act as if you cannot fail, as if this thing's a guaranteed yes for you. Act that way. How would you act? So in Silver Manifesting, when we do the open eye meditations and Zap meditations, you keep charging that feeling. Yes, I've got it. Yes, I've got it. So it almost becomes more natural and more automatic to act as if. And if anyone reads Neville Goddard's work or Wayne Dyer's work, even Louise Hay's work, you will know that it's holding that feeling as if you have it already, not just the acting that you feel. So if you're a person who wants to go from, I don't know, this amount of money a year to that amount of money a year, feel it. Act as if you've got it already. Feel as if that person, when you walk down the pavement, when you're going towards that place, the whole time you, you embody it. The way I like to use it is like you put on a suit of that person every day and you act as if it's that person. And then you've got to do what we call the BS, the beta stuff. That's the beta or the beta level of brain frequency it means the outside world. It means taking action. And you can't just take action, oh, I'll do it tomorrow kind of thing. You've got to take action with urgency. So when you act with urgency, you cause the brain to insulate the brain neurons of the thoughts that that goal has happened. And if you insulate the brain neurons with something called myelin, that sheath, that fatty tissue, it becomes a natural pathway. Which means if you do this with urgency, you help to immediately create automatically your brain to think success, to think abundance, to think prosperity, to think health, to think all the things that you want. You don't have to like be so mindful and, you know, so much on you. And that's when you become a better and better manifester. All right. I'm not doing my normal meditation that I normally do. I'm going to do one from Silver Manifesting. Um, it's called the Life Change Exercise. So please, everybody, can you take out a paper and pen, keep it restfully in a position, maybe on your lap, better on your lap than on a table, where you can easily write without moving. So try to write without moving. So get your pen and paper in the right place, and you're going to make some notes at the end. So uh, let's just do this quickly. For those of you who've done the silver method, you know what your laboratory and counselors are. For those of you who've never done the silver method, I want you to imagine that your most ideal place in the whole world, what I call a mind sanctuary, is your, what we call a laboratory. So when you hear the word laboratory, imagine a most beautiful place, the most happy place, 
that you love 100%, not 99 or less, 100% you love it. It could be in the Maldives, it could be in a beautiful place in the mountains or any ideal place, your mind sanctuary, you, it's a place. And when and here we talk about your counselors, just imagine you have a male and a female guide, people who are geniuses, people that absolutely love you and they're here to help you. That's really it. So he's going to follow the um, guidance. I'm going to take you through a little bit of a relax, a 10 to 1 countdown. And then I'm going to say review your, your laboratory, the room, the desk, the chair, the clock, something called the perpetual calendar, meaning you can go backwards and forwards in time. Any tools or information systems, you've got everything there that you would ever need. Any instruments, equipment, if you want to do something for health, I'll just say chemicals and medications, if that's your thing. If it's not, add something else that you want, anything that you want. And then it says in a chamber-like compartment, um, just like an elevator, which is um, if you did the silver method where we created our counselors. But if you haven't done the silver method, just imagine it as well. It doesn't mean anything. Just imagine it. We're going to go into this meditation. You're going to imagine a home theater and you're going to start watching a movie about your life, starting from when you were very young, going through all stages of your seven year stages. So your first imprint phase from zero to seven, your next modeling phase from eight to 15 and so on. And just follow the words, you're going to try to gather how you came to have all the beliefs you have today that have created your current reality. Because when you know that, you might know what are your limiting beliefs and what to change. And at the end, you're going to come out of your home theater with all this information that you've gathered and you're going to tell your counselors. So now you're in your mind, it's your imagination. You're going to tell them what new choices you're going to make to have a better life. Um, and when you come out this meditation, you're going to write down everything that, that came out for you. This is going to help you so you know what to work on to improve your life. All right, I'm going to, Nancy, can you please unshare? I've got to play music through the uh, screen. I don't know if you can do that, otherwise I must try and get it on my phone. Nancy, can you hear me? Yeah, I've unshared. Have you? I think so. My screen doesn't have anything. What about now? Okay, you've got to take off your screen. There we go. All right. Can you guys hear this or do you want me to play it through my computer? You don't have to hear it. I'm just asking if you can. It's very soft. It's really soft. Yeah, it can't. Um, uh, I won't be able to share it, sorry, because the computer is having an issue. Let me just see here. One second. I'll give it a go and see if this works. Can you hear that? It's really a soft sound. You don't need anything major. Just give me a thumbs up, maybe Judy, if you can hear something. It's very soft. It's a very soft sound in the background. Gloria, can you hear it? Or Sunil, I can see your faces. Yeah? Yep. All right, so let's begin. <clears throat> We will begin this exercise with the three to one method. Find a comfortable position, close your eyes, take a deep belly breath, and while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number three, three times. And relax your body by releasing tensions and pressures, starting with your scalp and moving slowly downward all the way down to your toes.
Continue to breathe slowly, deeply and rhythmically throughout the entire exercise. Take another deep belly breath and while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number two three times. Relax your mind by thinking of a tranquil and passive scene. Maybe think of a still lake where nothing is moving. Imagine the scene as if you are actually there. Use all of your mental senses, take your time and enjoy. Take another deep belly breath and while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number one three times. You are now at level one, the basic plane level that you are able to use for a purpose, any positive purpose you desire. Continue to breathe slowly, deeply and rhythmically and become aware of being still. Notice that you're sitting quietly and just observe how it feels. Now be aware of how the chair is making contact with your body and what parts of your body are in contact with the chair or floor such as your feet legs, hips, arms or back. Just simply observe and become aware. Now concentrate on your breath. Observe what happens when you breathe in and out, slowly, deeply, and rhythmically. Put all of your focus on your breathing. Notice how your body moves as you breathe. How your chest and abdomen rise when you breathe in and relax as you breathe out. Keep your awareness on this movement and be aware of the gentle rise and fall of your body as you breathe in and out. Feel the flow of air through your nose into your lungs as you inhale and then the flow of air from your lungs out through your nose as you exhale. If your mind wanders, simply bring your awareness back to your breathing and to your body. Stay with this process for a few more seconds, just observing your breath. Just become aware or make a point of reference of the wonderful feeling of physical relaxation and your calm mind. Remember this feeling and allow your body, brain and mind to remember this feeling. To help you enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, I'm going to count from 10 to 1. On each descending number, 
you will feel yourself going deeper, becoming more relaxed, and you will enter a deeper level of mind. 10, 9, feel going deeper. 8, 7, 6, deeper and deeper. 5, 4, Three, deeper and deeper, two, one. You are now at a deeper, healthier level of mind, deeper than before. At this time, we are going to create our laboratory. Imagine your laboratory. We're going to add a home theater to your laboratory to be used for viewing movies of your past, your present and your future. In a moment, I'm going to count from 10 to one. When we reach the count of one, we will have reached your laboratory dimension, also known as the creative dimension, where we can create anything. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You are now at your creative dimension or your laboratory level. Greet your two counselors with some words of appreciation. Remember, these are guides that you love, have good rapport with, and they're there to help and guide you. One male, one female. Just imagine it. Now review your laboratory. The room. The desk. The chair. The clock, the perpetual calendar, the tools or information system, any instruments or equipment. Any chemicals or medications or herbs or remedies. And a chamber-like compartment that was used to bring in your counsellors. I will now count from one to three. By that time, you will have created a home theatre for your use in problem solving. Create this like a high-speed movie. 1. Create a home theatre that you can use for problem solving. This home theatre can be used to view movies of your past, present and future. 2. Place this home theatre anywhere you wish within your laboratory. 3. It is now an accomplished fact that you have created a home theatre for your use in problem solving. Now at the count of three, using your imagination, you will move your awareness to the entrance of your home theatre to watch a movie about your life. One, two, three. You are now at the entrance of your home theatre. Enter the theatre and sit on the centre seat of the centre row. The theatre is dark and cool. And as you look up at the theatre screen, a movie of your life begins with the moment you were born. Allow images and memories of your birth to enter your mind. 
allow your memory and intuition to create the scene. Notice who was there. Remember, it's your imagination and you can upgrade or improve any image or memory if it's not a good one. Allow emotions, thoughts, images and sounds into your mind. Take your time. Pay attention to whatever enters your mind. Observe it as a movie. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, make the movie black and white or shades of light grey. Remember, you are in control of your experience. You are always in control. Now imagine your life unfolding during the first seven years and become aware of the good times and the not so good times. Become aware of the happy and joyful times, as well as the sad. The healthy, robust and vibrant times, and the not so healthy ones. Many experiences happen the first seven years of life that have the potential of resulting in the deep rooted beliefs that subconsciously run your life. What experiences come to mind? And what beliefs resulted about you, your intelligence, relationships, money, opportunity, luck, health, love and your future? What beliefs resulted about you? Take your time to notice the impact those experiences have had on your life and how they've created your beliefs. Now watch the movie closely as it shows the second seven years of your life from about the time you were eight to about the time you were 14. You went through so many experiences and changes. Notice how the experiences of the first seven years impacted the second seven years.
Now watch the movie closely as it shows the third seven years of your life from about the time you were 15 to about the time you were 21. Even greater changes and experiences occurred as you came from age you came of age and entered adulthood. Notice the changes and the experiences. Notice how the experiences of the first seven years and second seven years impacted the third seven years. Now watch the movie closely as it shows the fourth seven years of your life. From about the time you were 22 to about the time you were 28. And notice how the experiences of the third seven years impacted the fourth seven years. If you are younger than 28, then imagine how you wish your life to continue evolving. Continue watching the movie very closely as it shows how your life has unfolded up to now. Become aware of the many choices you made throughout your life that resulted in the life you live now. Some choices you made gave your power away and some empowered you, yet you were always in control. You were always making the choices. You have now observed many of the reasons why your life has evolved the way it has up to now and possibly even some of the beliefs that resulted from those life experiences. The movie comes to a pause and you sit in the theater and you think deeply and honestly about the role you've played in creating your life outcomes and the situation you find yourself in at this very moment. You become aware of the many good choices you've made throughout your life as well as the many missed opportunities that have resulted from your past experiences thoughts and beliefs.
and you say to yourself mentally, this is my life, this is my creation. And with a deeper understanding of this role you've played in creating your life situations up to this point, the movie of your life continues and you begin to observe what is possible for you to create moving forward. New possibilities come to mind as you create a positive future where you are living the life you want, living the life you desire. A future that involves you being healthier in every way. Living a healthier lifestyle. And choosing healthier lifestyle habits that positively influence your living experience in every way. Notice the small things such as walking faster, a healthy posture, muscle tone and flexibility, ease in bending over to tie your shoes, energy to enjoy the day, as well as bigger things, such as a healthy bank balance, a healthy medical report, a loving and supportive life partner. Be observant of the things that may represent evidence telling you that you are moving in the direction of your choosing. Observe living an overall healthier, happier and successful life. It will happen. It will happen as you decide to choose healthier, happier and successful. The movie comes to an end with an image of a healthy, happy and vibrant you who is thriving in every way. And then you get up and you walk out of your home theatre. And you move back into the laboratory to now speak to your counsellors and tell your counsellors about the new choices that you're making in order to create a better and healthier life. Tell your counsellors of the goals that you want to achieve. Tell your counsellors that you're searching for new and empowering tools for change and a greater understanding of your potential, whether that's on your own or through the Silver Manifesting Seminar. Take a nice deep breath 
and as you exhale, you suddenly feel better and more hopeful about your future. Now thank your counselors for being there for you and part with some words of appreciation. Every time you use these levels of your mind, your ability to control your thoughts, beliefs and your life increases. You find you are more confident and dynamic. You become increasingly aware of the potential in using your mind to help you in the enjoyment of living. You increasingly realize that you are primarily responsible for the control of and the richness and joy of your own life. And you may now come out of your laboratory level. I'll count for you. First one to ten and then one to three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three. Open your eyes, feel wide awake, in perfect health, better than before. Excellent. Okay, who enjoyed that? Who felt more positive at the end than they did before they began? Okay, only one lady's hands up. Is that all we're going to get? Okay, some more hands. Excellent. And who here found any connection from your first seven years, second and third of, oh yeah, this is, shows me how I created these beliefs. Who got any of that? Okay, great. Do you think it would help if you knew what served you? You could use more, but what didn't serve you, what you need to work on? Yeah, where some beliefs came from, potentially. This is so important, guys. It is so important because neuroscience has proven that 95% of our results today, no matter your age, come from your imprint phase from zero to seven. And if you don't remember much of that, it can give you clues if you can remember the next phase. And if you don't know that very well, it can give you clues what happens in the next phase. And then as you come to where you are today. So when we know this, we kind of know what to work on. It kind of gives us clues and we um, have a handle on um, being more intentional about what we want to create. I'm just going to go back to the meditate, uh, the presentation. So Nancy, I put it on the screen, if you can just... Um, Take it from there and just share it. All right. So let me just clear this. Here we go. So just to share with you what goes on in Silver Manifesting, this is um, all the exercises that we have over the two days. Just quickly run through it. We go deep and we get some serious goal clarity. As I said to you, there's three pages of questions there. It helps you really get clarity. We do this exercise you've just done. We just do it a bit slower with a bit more detail and a bit more setup. So you know how to extract a lot more out of it. Although you would have got something out of it today, you can see how easy it is to use the mind in a relaxed state. Then we're going to take some of that that we've understood from the first exercise and have something called the life change exercise where we start reviewing through guided visualization how to practice new thoughts positive thoughts positive feelings better choices and better behaviors and then we actually watch them unfold and how they create our results and you review this in your mind and that's really powerful because that's the first step to change and then we do training on as i said open eye meditation um, and zap meditations to help you charge and connect with your goals throughout the day whoops and then the monkey mind. People think that the monkey mind is this 
you know, affliction kind of thing where the mind doesn't stop and it's terrible and you, it's all over the place. Well, we actually take the monkey mind and we do a guided meditation where we learn to get real value out of the monkey mind by slowly dissecting the conversations and creating meaning opportunities and action steps going forward from actually observing the monkey mind and learning how to use it with um, the right investigation and then at the end of day one we do that writing exercise where you write your answers um, called visioning it's like finding your life purpose but a bit different to the silver method um, it also includes uh, things that you need to be aware of uh, of what's holding you back and what you need to change to manifest more then on day two we do that thing called the personal code of success find out your personal actualization process and how you can replicate that over and over again with consistency then we look at overcoming obstacles all the things standing in your way and one of them in this deep meditation is this funny question but it's not that funny who in your long ago past doesn't want you to succeed so we actually create this amazing thing with our mind and then in a deep level of mind where your intuition is operating we suddenly ask this question who in your long ago past would be upset if you succeeded and i promise you as i sit here now a name or more than one name will just pop in your head um for me it was the thing i'd, I'd least expect um it was obviously one of my parents who i love and adore and i, I don't have any problem with, with them at all but when it popped in my head i realized there was a memory there um, of being told that my uncle was a show off because he bought a Rolls Royce and it's terrible for someone to um, show off. You know, if you've got money, you shouldn't show off. And then when I got that, I realized, ah, oh, why I've been playing small for all those years from that voice in my head, which is deep in the subconscious. So once you know that we have another opportunity to overwrite that, we do it with the inner child meditation where you visualize your inner child and you go as an adult and you educate your inner child using dynamic meditation to give them a different meaning to that same memory. And I promise you it works. As it comes out, that memory is completely transformed and you don't have that limiting you anymore. We also look at core experiences in your life like abandonment, rejection, helplessness, hopelessness, feeling out of control that every child under the age of seven experiences multiple times and how to overcome that um, so it doesn't stand in your way and block you. And then how do we create new beliefs? It's a wonderful meditation that we do there um, where we do put new beliefs into your mind and um, all the steps on how you use them with your thoughts and your feelings and your opinions and your um, ideas and perceptions and behaviors and so on. Then there's a meditation on choice points. So if a person is unsure of a choice that you'd like to make or you're scared you have fear about making this choice um, or self-doubt or lack of self-love or whatever it is we guide you through that choice another choice and even another choice and as you go through with all these three you come to really have this strong intuitive knowing what's the right choice for you because your intuition will show you what's up ahead and you can always trust your intuition and I'm just saying it never trust your logical mind it will be wrong if you don't believe me give it time but Jose Silva says it um, over and over again Laura Silva says it and I'm telling you don't trust your logical brain it will lead you wrong left brain thinking is never going to lead you right you've got to use your int intuition and your right brain it will always lead you right then we do a gratitude exercise, which is quite beautiful to really get those vibrations high, better to manifest, the more gratitude you express. And then the last exercise I love in the course is you create in your mind yourself as a money magnet through incredible visualization on how money is just drawn to you. And you can use that over and over when you leave the course. And the more you practice that, the more you do attract money. So you literally just have to visualize yourself in a creative way um, using a certain process and um, you create a money magnet so that's the course in summary so just quickly the events coming up is silver life and intuition system the normal four-day immersion is the next course in next week really from thursday to sunday and then in june is the one i'm presented on tonight silver manifesting so silver manifesting is on the 21st and 22nd of june at the office in Parramatta. it's in sydney it's live it's not online it's only live in person. Um, the normal price is 1,450. Sorry, they're supposed to say two days. 
put your point in the middle, just fix that. Okay. And there is an early bird price of 1250 Now, if you're a silver graduate, only if you're a graduate, if you SMS me, because you will have my number if you're a graduate, if you SMS me tonight, not tomorrow, only tonight, if you're on this webinar, I'm going to give you something if you attend Silver Manifesting. I'm not going to say it out loud here, but I'm going to give you something. Um, so text me, I'll tell you what the something is, and if you want, then you can book. So it's a special gift to you. If you're a silver graduate of my graduates, not another program, if you've done Silver Life and Intuition System with me, I have 500 graduates. So if any of you send me an SMS, um, just SMS me silver manifesting and I will get back to you with something. It's a special only for tonight. So if you want to ask me, SMS me now what it is and I'll send it to you. And then if you want to opt in, you can take up the offer from me. Okay. And then the next courses is um, the Louise Hay Love Yourself Here to Life Two Day Workshop. It's in July 25th and 26th. Please book your seats early because this um, often fills up. So there's an early bird price of 750, not 997 if you want to join. So please do that. Then just to remind you, I do have a Think and Grow Rich Masterclass. I've never done a masterclass before. I've done a mastermind. This is a completely different thing. It's a book study uh, run by me. It's the first time in my life I've ever offered this particular format and I've never offered it for free before. So if you want to join, I'm taking you through a massive deep dive of the most powerful person developed and book ever written in my view is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It's going to run for several weeks um, for an hour and a half every week, uh, twice a week. I'm starting on the 18th of June. So we'll meet every Tuesday and every Sunday. Or, sorry, every Tuesday and every Saturday morning. Tuesday night and Saturday morning. And the recording will be up for free for 48 hours. You can opt in any time to buy the lifetime access if you want. If you do, you'll get it at 50% discount to what the price is for anyone else who's not in the program who goes to the website to try to buy it. But otherwise, it's free. You can join for free. You get the book for free, the workbook for free, the questionnaires for free. Please join. It's incredible content, and it doesn't all come from the book only. It comes from other sources with a really high level of awareness. I bought the license for this program. It's really significant stuff. If you want to change your money mindset and create things in your life, or anything besides money, rich relationships, rich spirituality, it's a very spiritual book, Think and Grow Rich. Don't think it's all about materialism. It's absolutely not. The more you read the book, the more it becomes more and more and more spiritual. So it's got a great title because it gets um, people wanting money in. And then it slowly helps them connect with a higher source, a higher power, your own intuition, your sixth sense, what he calls infinite intelligence. And then for anyone who's ever heard of Silver Dynamic Healing, it's a hands-on and mental emotional healing program. It's two days. Why does it say four days again? Um, it's coming up in August. So if you're interested in healing yourself or healing anyone in your family, this is a very amazing program. And none of these techniques are in the silver method. So it's all new. That's the date. Just to expand on Think and Grow Rich, how do you get in the program? There's only one way you can get in is to text me on that number your name, surname, and email address, and TAGR 2024 Step 1. Why is it called Step 1? If you haven't watched my Meaningful Monday that's called The Way the Wealthy Do It, please go to my YouTube channel and watch that, and you'll see how the wealthy become wealthy. There's four clear steps, and Step 1 is investing in your mindset, and this is what Think and Grow Rich is. If you want to get wealthy, all the wealthy people in the world take four steps in that order. Invest in your mindset, invest in your skill set, invest in your business, invest in assets. If you want to invest in assets without investing in your mindset, you're going to make bad investment decisions. So always, always, always invest in your mindset first. Get that into an abundant mindset and you start manifesting already and then you go and acquire any of the subsequent steps um, and you'll be successful every time. So if you want that, please take a photo of the screen if you don't have my number and text me that TAGR 2024 step one if you want to join. Okay. Just to remind you, if um, you 
have heard this before. Thank you for your patience. If you haven't, I do something. I do, I'm, I'm a coach, regular coach, do normal coaching, but I have something called rapid results coaching. It's a toolbox of 14 techniques. I'm talking about two of them here. If you want to release a unknown block, let's say you've got a terrible fear of something or you've got terrible regret, you don't know why, or you suffer from guilt all the time, or you keep saying, you keep feeling bad or um, we don't want to be seen um, or you've got a fear of you know being out there or public speaking, whatever it may be. You don't know where it comes from. We can release that in one session guaranteed. If it doesn't, I'll give you money back, but it will work. It works every time. Or if you've got a block or memory associated with that block, like some terrible trauma you had or an accident or a bad divorce or something happened to you and you know you've been affected by that memory, then this will release it completely in one session as well. So it will go in one session. If it doesn't, you don't pay, but it does work every time. And then just to mention, I have a special offer at the moment on my 12 week coaching program. It also involves rapid results. It also involves silver method uh, tools and it also involves um, heal your life coaching, whichever you want. So it just depends on you and where you are in your life. So if you want to know more about that, please just SMS me. All right, that's it from me. Don't worry, we're not doing that now. We are done for the evening. Let me just stop. Nancy, you can stop the sharing if you can, please, lovey. I can't see the screen. Any questions? If I open the mic, uh, anybody want to ask me anything? Anything at all? And Nancy, you can stop the recording too, please.